Today we're going to attempt to start a 1300 mile trip from Phoenix, Arizona to Portland, Oregon. And one of us in this car is going to be going somewhere internationally. So today we're going to attempt um, to do a drive from Phoenix to Portland, it's about 1300 miles with this thing. And we have to drop off McKenna so she can catch her flight to Australia and we'll make our way up to Portland from there. And we'll see how she does in the airport because we haven't taken her on a plane yet. So we'll see how she does in the backpacks throughout the airport. It'll be our first time trying to get her used to it. So hopefully she can get on a plane next. So I don't know if you guys know this about McKenna, but she's traveled across the Pacific from Los Angeles to New Zealand when she was nine years old. How old are you today? 13, 13, 13. And where are you going? Australia. By herself. We're dropping her off right now. So what are you feeling? Tell me. I don't know. <laughs> Excited? Excited, but stressed. Why? Tell us. Because I'm going to be gone for six weeks. Third Not floor. usual in the uh, McKenna schedule. <laughs> Is Qantas said Qantas or Qantas? Because there's no U. It's Qantas. Is yes, yeah, it's Qantas. I'm not impressed by Qantas unaccompanied minor flying. Air New Zealand did a much better job. They took her. They also gave her a like it was like almost like a tracker, so she would wear it, so it would check her in, and we could see where she's at. The agents here were almost. We didn't care if we took her, if somebody else took her. It's almost like safer for us to take her up there and make sure she gets on the plane. First time I haven't been very impressed by Qantas. I think we'll be flying Air New Zealand next time. Well, it was time to say goodbye to McKenna. So they were very nice because they allowed me to drop her off at the gate. How are you feeling? No. Miss International flying across the world by herself. Well, we'll see when I get to Australia. The plane flights are never fun. And like a good worried father, yep, I gave her the phone so she can call us on board the plane. Potter and the ninth uh, and the eighth movie without you, or um, the seventh movie without you. So. Oh no. More about McKenna's trip later. For us, we had to find a hotel urgently. The sun is shining. The sun is shining down on us. There's nowhere I'd rather be. There's nowhere I'd rather be. Today we're going to attempt to cross the most popular state in the United States. We're gonna go from Southern California all the way across the border to Oregon. It's gonna be a long drive and we're looking forward to seeing some really beautiful sights. We're standing right in front of Six Flags Magic Mountain, Southern California. What is this? <laughs> what is this? A oh, pop cup. Is that all you want? Just cream. So we made a special stop in Central California in a city called Los Baños, which means the toilets, to eat the best pizza in the world. Me and Ed's Pizza. I grew up with this pizza. It's only in the Central Valley of California, and it is the best in the world. So we are in Oregon right now, and uh, one of the important rules to remember is that you cannot fill up your car 
they have to come in and actually connect it to your vehicle and pump it you cannot do it by yourself here it's an actual job and i tried to do it and they told me no 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 you can't do it so fyi So we made it to Medford, Oregon. It was a 12 hour drive and now we're heading up to Portland, which is another four and a half hours. It was a beautiful drive. Okay, so I have currently made it to Australia and I'm on the beach right now. So we're gonna be going to a lot of different places this trip and I am here just to say, I hope you can please like, subscribe, comment down below, and ring the bell to watch more of our content. Thank you. Yeah, gotta aim for the top, like. Hello. Yeah, I can never doubt myself. I know better. So I finally made it to Astona, Oregon. Astona, Oregon is the first settlement west of the Rockies in the Americas here in Oregon. It is a beautiful destination and I highly recommend you come and check it out. There is so much to do, so much history, but also there's a lot of movie history happening here. I'm standing right in front of the gel they used in the opening scene in the Goonies here in Oregon. It's a museum now, wonderful place to come and visit. The Goonies is a 1985 American adventure comedy film. In the Goonies film, this scene takes place during the Fratelli jailbreak during the movie. The jail is called the Clastop County Jail, and it was built in 1913. It is no longer used and now is home to the Oregon Film Museum. Captain George Flavel House Museum, also known as the Flavel Mansion, also was known in the movie The Goonies, as it is featured as the museum where Mikey's father worked. The house was originally constructed in 1885 by George Flavel, a maritime pilot and entrepreneur who amassed a fortune in his business over the course of 13 years. The 11,600 square foot house, which spans a whole city block, features Queen Anne architecture. Astoria is a port city and the seat of Clastop County, Oregon. Founded in 1811, Astoria is the oldest city in Oregon and was the first permanent American settlement west of the Rocky Mountains. The Cannery Pier Hotel used to be a salmon cannery back in the 1800s. By the mid-1880s, people were calling Astoria the fishing capital of the world because of this cannery's huge catches of salmon. So I'm drumming in the middle of the coast between Portland and the coast and I see these signs that say drinking water on the side of the highway and I haven't been able to figure out what it was. I actually googled it but on the way back I said I need to stop and check it out and apparently there's spring waters. People stop in and fill up their tanks with water and we're like in the middle. I mean this is the middle of the forest. So I got a cup of water and I'm checking it out but it looks quite quite interesting met a really nice guy here that kind of explained to me what this is love this place next week we are going to show many of the adventures I had in Australia
thank you for watching our channel and please subscribe leave a comment below and ring the bell for our next video notification we'll see you next weekend guys Bye.